Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Spirit Fair. Joining me is JK Lantern. We've been discussing horrifying things. And Star Princess HLC. Or wonderful things, depending on your perspective. Why is it? Okay, there we go. I was having a hard time getting him to target. Oh. He, he's using a cloak of invisibility. Was he Shifros? Maybe. A magazine called Looter's Literary Review. Does he read it just for the that advertisements? Maybe. Uh, one one of the units in House Corita was nicknamed the Looters for a while. <laughs> the, the Legions of Vega were like for a span of time, we're like, the looters, the boozers, and the pillagers. Now I'm just wondering if anybody's ever thought to start up a Dungeons & Dragons themed restaurant, restaurant named Looters. Someone has to have. So, someone has to have, right? You would think. I remember when uh, Courage was an undergrad. Um, there, there was a town. There was a town, uh, Dinwiddie, Virginia, I believe it was, that was between us and his college. And there was a James Bond-themed restaurant, and we never actually went before it closed. And I kind of regret that. Was it called Shake and Butt Stirred? No, it was just the 007 Cafe or something like that. Aw, oh, they had such a good opportunity to make that joke! Yeah, they did. Hello. So we are the Riddler now. Or we're getting something from the Riddler. Let's One see. of my favorite Batman villains. Yeah. What's the worst part about eating a clock? Salt can be a treacherous foe when you are made of ice. See and close Port Olon chart for reference. <laughs> I'm eating the Port Olon chart. It's delicious. We, we, at least let me get the coordinates off of it. You can probably get it later. <laughs> Might be a little hard to read by then. Especially since we got to put it in the projector. Man, now that's what I call a crapshoot. And we got a rare coin collection. Yeah. But how rare is it? I think it's at least double as rare! We must trade it to Griff- wait, wrong game. So, let's see... Huh. Wall, wall of ice, northwest of it. Two islands, X. The Isle of Dogs? I liked that movie. My dad didn't. Why? I don't know. I honestly... I am going like, to do a thing here. It was one of those movies where he watched it and was like, what the fuck did I just watch? I thought the premise was very obvious. Yeah. Took a screenshot. And Ed Norton's in that movie. Dad had lunch with that guy. Huh. Yeah, Wes Anderson seems to be... A lot of Wes Anderson movies Dad likes, but Isle of Dogs just seemed to confuse him. I don't see how it's confusing. I thought the story was pretty straightforward. Yeah, he, it just wasn't for him, I guess. I don't know. 
I wonder if he'd like the like if he'd like uh, Del Toro's Pinocchio. I'm not sure. He loved Fantastic Mr. Fox. Hmm. Where the heck is there a double set of islands like that? Unless the chart is upside down. Could be. Because I'm looking first for, uh... I'm looking at all around this. Okay, it's... Because this is the wall we need to look through. Maybe right about here looks... that. That's one possibility. Which means the, uh, it would be somewhere over here. Okay. Although that doesn't look quite right. Wait a minute. I think you might be right that it's there. Because there aren't any more walls made out of ice that we have access to, so it's just this one. And the other, and that's the only one that's next to a dual island it's somewhere in this vicinity yeah now that we've seen roughly where it is Mind the treasure hunts. I do need to go fishing to catch a couple of specific fish. You caught Manillo. Mostly because there is a thing we need to get a hold of, and it, um, it requires fish to trade for. But only specific fish. Oh my god, we need to find a Manilo merchant to trade to. Uh, uh, we're making a lot of Breath of Fire jokes. Hello. Hi, Sias. How you doing? You're a good boy, you know that. So when? Since, since now, I, I declared it so. Who sent you? Um... Yoshi. I don't believe you. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if we can hunt down the treasure that's supposed to be around here somewhere. Because based on the way this is shaped, this it's going to be somewhere like right in here. And you check your pockets. I'm wearing women's jeans, what pockets? That is fair. Just gonna keep an eye on the indicator to see if any uh, 
MVD treasure spots pop up. Just if I dyed your all white, you would probably do really good cosplay as Daffodil. I, I feel like he'd be deeply upset by that. Probably. Also, good luck getting him out the door to actually go to a cosplay. <laughs> a bunch of my friends went to a MAGFest this year, and, um... They, they were like, oh, we wish you could have made it. And I'm like, if I went, I'd have, and I had money, I'd absolutely want to be uh, in some form of cosplay. God only mm. knows what, but... Colonel Sanders. I I would absolutely go as anime Colonel Sanders. Especially since now your hair's shorter. Yeah. You could probably also go as Loki with a beard. Eh, I could. I, I'd rather not. So no sign of any treasure yet. Maybe the treasure was the friends we made along the way. Maybe. Maybe we're treasure. Or a China bird? I was going to say I was going to make that <laughs> joke. <laughs> we we referenced the weirdest shit in this LP. <laughs> okay, well I did a search from here to here. And nothing popped up. I bet it's in Switzerland. Let's see if I can find anything else that looks like a double island. Thing is, it looked like a pretty big double island too. Yeah. Which we we just flat out don't have, especially not in the pattern they have laid out on the. Uh... Hopefully, it's not the dragon. I mean, Wait there's a another one, but that's not that's not remotely the right shape. Yeah. That is. I mean, that's pretty close to the shape. Yeah. Yeah. Unless it is Lonebird. Unless Buck has something else for us now. First rule about Looters Club, we don't talk about Looters Club. So the fa we must be near it. Yeah. He he's gone batshit crazy, got it. Yes, yes. Th this is basically me when I play Mafia. You didn't give me much help there. I assume that's his job. His job to be unhelpful? Exactly. He's essentially the Okasan of this game. 
Did somebody say Okosan? Okay, so let me do something here. I'm going to make sure I'm not just missing something. Okay, I've got the coordinates. Okay. So let's see where this thing is. Oh, okay, 180. I was misreading that. So it is right here. Okay. I just didn't hit the exact spot. Apparently. That's, that's always fun. I mean, I don't know how Endless Buck just tells you at some point in time. Water retaining soil, a garden and a field upgrade. Huh. Which, if I was still doing a lot of gardening, would be very helpful. By this point in the game, I don't need to. Yeah, it's weird that it's giving you these upgrades this late. Yeah. It is. Maybe they assumed you weren't going to be doing a bunch of this stuff until late game? Maybe. near that turtle this being the other treasure that Elena wants us to go after reference arcane shit. Did that log just give birth to a stick? <laughs> uh. What he doesn't know is that we swapped his 
his uh, suntan oil with bagel lip topping. Oh, man. So, today Star's mom posted a video on Facebook, um, a recipe she found, and it's like, oh, Bayrish, Bailey's Irish cream cake thing. So, so I start playing the video. Within like two seconds, I'm like, oh, this is a variation of better than sex cake. <laughs> so like, I'm typing in like, yeah, I've made something like this. This is a, but I had to censor myself because I was almost like, oh, this is just better than sex cake. And I'm like, wait, maybe I shouldn't say that on Star's mom's face page. Went to the wrong place, didn't I? Yes, I did. Also, who knows if Facebook will put you in Facebook jail for saying that? It's mm -hmm. possible. Yep. Like, I one of my uh, former co workers at my old job, she got sent to Facebook jail because a picture she put on it, it made it, th it but Facebook thought it was referencing violence. Yeah, that's not any faster. Sorry, best boy. You get to stay home today. To be fair, I don't think he ever actually leaves. He lives there. Need to take a look at something here. Okay, just in case. I hugged a crap ton of butterflies, I'd be very itchy by the end. It is possible. Butter for youth stuns, stuns for. It was super effective. It's a status move! It can't be super effective! You know what? Shut up. <laughs> I always liked Butterfree. Free school. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you now also love Vivillion, so. Yeah. It has various different patterns depending on where it's from. Mm hmm. Well, let's see. We need to give. We need to give her either the coin collection or the ring. Again, this is why you weren't invited to many birthday parties when we were kids. Yep. Give me your coins, yoink. <laughs> Say, I, I ended up tricking her. I ended up eating my coins so she couldn't get them. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good way to wind up with heavy metal poisoning. <laughs> That's why I drowned it out with booze. It'll all be loose change in the end. Anyway, I think this marks a good stopping spot because we are kind of in a holding pattern until people actually need things. 
So, for now, take care, everyone. Later. Bye, -bye.